All right, welcome to the Smoke and Mirrors podcast, your destination for the latest in movie news and reviews. We are your hosts, Rob, Dave, and Triz. In the red corner, we have a fighter that wears his heart on his sleeve, going through the complexities of life with style bender. And in the blue corner, Mr. <laughs> I Want to Play a Game, Mr. Trapalot, the original Jim Browning. In Saw X. Now let's start the show. I was going to scream, now let's start the show, and I was just, I got it in them. My throat <laughs> been uh, taking a pounding this week. It's, it's a little parched. It's a little parched. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the buffers, I'm coming for that ass. Let's start the detail. show. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce brings just unbelievable just power to that. I don't know what he does. His that voice must be insured. Who? Badly. That dog stores his power in his chin, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that dog got, like, unbelievable chin game paws. <laughs> that must be insured for a million. You know you know, he got insured for a million. You know, it's like his legal <laughs> weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Just screams him down. <laughs> oh, shit. How you guys living? You're good, dog. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> <clears throat> Fucking still a little puffed out after the concert, but Oz is good. Mm. I was living a dream. So Oz recently found out that we got like feedback through Spotify and it was on the Barbie and Oppenheimer review. Some chick <laughs> some chick, and I'm gonna say it's a chick. I think her name was like Debbie something. Debbie fucking downer, that's for sure. <laughs> she, and Oz just wanted to address it because she wrote just say that you hate women and get it over with. And no, the fuck I don't. <laughs> At all. I think yeah. the Barbie review was pretty, uh, pretty rounded out nicely there. Yeah. <laughs> I hate my mother. I hate my sister. I hate my two nieces. The fuck is your problem, Debbie? I don't even know if it was Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I was just seeing the comment. I was like, wow, really? Mm. Uh, I think if you don't like Barbie, you immediately, immediately a woman hater. Oh, yeah. Bigot. <laughs> 100%. Fucking Barbie. It's Barbie. Barbie was not the metric test. <laughs> on, like, you know, gender issues. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. It's it's just the Dennis Leary again. <laughs> Fucking life is too short for fighting and fussing, oh. my friend. I don't know, badly. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Take us into that style bender. Let's kick it off with that one first. I was mm. uh excited. Yeah. So Stylebender, for anyone who doesn't know, is the, the story or the retelling of Israel Adesanya. So him at current day explains like his upcoming coming from uh, Nigeria to NZ and then growing up here and becoming one of the most famous fighters in the UFC. Very, very fucking heart wrenching at times. Great mm. fucking story, though. Mm. So Zoe McIntosh, the director, followed this O around with his agreement in all aspects of his life for five years. Wild. I love to see it. That's some like access that you don't really get. Yeah. Especially with fighters who are very secretive. Hmm. hundred percent. This shit was amazing. Like yeah. Yeah. It was good. It was good to see all that, um, all this sort of, um, all the backstage stuff. Because I've seen all those fights. I've seen every mm. one of those fights now since he's become... I, I watched him beat uh, Rob mm. to become yeah. a champion. You know what I mean? Like, it, it was just really nice to see all the background, to see what was actually going on and all that sort of stuff. And Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. I wish they, they kept... They, they delayed the film so we could go through his loss, though. Mm. With, with Alex. Yeah, Herrera. Yeah, like that would have been nice to see because this man, this man handles handles loss better than anyone I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like it's it's amazing. 
he he got beat by Alex in um what's his face in Madison Square Garden, and the next day he was doing a podcast with Schultz and whatnot, talking about it. You know what I mean? Like it was just That's crazy, wild. and he, he was wild. fine and everything, and he just he he basically understood what he needed to do. Like he, the, the, there's always a plan going forward. You can see that in the film with um the way that Eugene that Eugene uh, Merriman treats him and everything, and you know the the just just his um. The, the mental fortitude, there's always a plan there. You hmm. know what I mean? There's always yeah. something else. Like, there's always something we can improve. We can do better. We can do this. We can do that. Hmm. The, it's never just go out there and do whatever you want. There's always a fucking plan. Yeah. Yeah. Eugene Merriman's his trainer? He's his trainer, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Head, head coach of AKA, man. He is a fucking beast that man on on that the 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 last fight where they fought here in sydney so eugene had four fighters on that fucking card four wow he's he's a machine what what they're doing out there at aka is 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 amazing they're like our version of um what's his face att american top team like it's just crazy the amount of um just champions that they could pump out of that one gym Next level. That's where Volkanovski trains. Like Volkanovski will do a, um, he'll do a session here and then finish out his training session in New Zealand before he flies out, and he'll bring yep. Eugene and all those boys with him. Mm. It's just, it's amazing. Shit, that is crazy. Yeah, I really like, I really like the movie as yeah. well. Um, it, like, it went into different areas. I like the contrast of. Here's a practical psychologist working with, with, mm. with Izzy. And his coach is trying to get him to remain the killer in the ring, be focused and, and sort of strategic with his moves and stuff. Yeah. And it, it feels at times like they, they kind of clash. Oh, yeah. The, the, the therapy and the training kind of clash. Yeah. It's like oil and water, B. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. They're not supposed to go together. Yeah, and like him trying to be like, mm. like they say it in Rocky Three, the worst thing he can do, worst thing that a fighter can do is become civilized, become civilized, mm. yeah, and lose their edge. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you, you kind of see him warring against it, but it's the mm. peace that he kind of strives for in and out of the ring. Yeah. Pause. You see when you see him fight. It's 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 so weird because there's no animosity. There's nothing there. Beforehand, there might be, like yep. with the with the the weigh-ins and the talking shit and all that sort of stuff. But Alessania in the in that octagon mm. is calm, mm. so calm and fluid. Is is, is amazing. Mm. It's one of the best fighters we're going to see for a long time now. We thought that. Mm. Anderson Silva couldn't be matched. This man is, yeah. This is he next level. Anderson Silva, doing. though, didn't he? Yeah, he yeah. Didn't beat him. He beat him. Beat Anderson. Yeah. Anderson end end of end of his end of end of his career. You know what I mean? You can't really True, say that. Wasn't his prime. You can't say that either. Do you know what I mean? Like this man chose the fight. He prepared just like Izzy. He had the exact same chance to do whatever he, he needed to do to get it done, and he couldn't get it done yep. against Izzy. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like the movie was great, but then at the end it was like they didn't know how to wrap it up. Hmm. So it just ended with him doing a certain thing. <laughs> and it was, it was like it didn't, it didn't confirm what the journey was about up to that point. Hmm. But everything up to that point was access that you had never sort of seen before. Mm. Him at home getting fucking swamped by the fans was wild. Like people Fuck ringing that. his doorbell, that was scary. Like him going, watch, these people see me, now they're going to go, yeah. now they're going to come up. Or the other day they, they just came up to my driveway and they were like hassling me. And then they knock on his door. I was like, this guy is like very patient. Extreme patience. Yeah. Doesn't have that Kareem Abdul. 
<laughs> None of that. I think Izzy needs to develop some of that. Mm. Some yeah, of it, especially just to a protect little. his energy. Yeah, just a little, just a little Kareem oh. to be like, get the fuck away from me. Yeah. You see me out. Yeah. Like, I, I wouldn't. This is the thing. I don't know if, if we were just raised differently. I'm seeing a celebrity out or I know where they live. I'm not fucking with that person at all. I'm not even taking a picture of them from across the road. Yeah. Like, even that's weird to me. I don't know what it is. That's weird to me. Can I yeah. take a picture with you is weird to me. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. Yeah. I will I, walk I would up not... if, like, if, if you're there, like, shaking hands and whatnot, I will shake your hand. I'm not taking a picture with you, God. Yeah. yeah. Like, no. that's, for, that's for up here. That's for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's people right. are taking pictures so they can post it on the fucking gram. That's why yeah. they're taking pictures. And it's wild shit as well. Like, did you see that, um, that interview, the round table with, uh, like had Jeff Bridges and Pedro Pascal at, um, I did see that. Uh, one. uh, uh, Kieran Culkin in yeah. succession. And he's saying we're at Disney world and I've got my kids there and you're taking pictures. Yeah. That's not happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he said, uh-huh. That's, that's when it's down. Like, yeah. no, like you don't do that sort of shit. Yeah. Uh, what's his face talks about it in his GQ interview? Um, what's his name? Hellboy, not Perlman, the other one. Ah, uh, David Harbour? David Harbour is talking about how the, his, his best interactions is when, like, you know, he's, he's running late for something and, like, the chemist is about to close and he's rushing over there and the guy just looks at him and recognizes him and um, just basically says, I, I, I love your work. I don't want to picture or anything. I just like I just wanted to tell you. And then he's yeah. like, "Sweet, I can I can go. I can still go about my day now." Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um. But yeah, I I enjoyed the movie as a whole. Mm. I wish I seen it in the theater. Actually, so, yeah. Same. I wish they did some some screenings. We didn't get a chance to actually go out there and and go see it, even mm. though mm. the ones that they were sort of showing were like fifty bucks mm. a ticket. I'd pay that for Izzy. Izzy's cool, man. He yeah. entertains me every time he, he fights, so I might as well. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah. It was great. The The end bit, though, was him him talking about the whole, um, that's what he likes to do. You know what I mean? Like, he likes to just stay in his room, if he, if he doesn't have to train, stay in his room, listen to his own music, and catch a vibe, and dance. Hmm. Like he talks yeah. about it during the, during the what's-his-face. The yeah, one thing the- that I don't like that he does, though, is that that man reads every comment, man. <laughs> yeah. But he, but he is of that age. Still. He's sub-30, isn't he? He's under 30, this guy. 28 or something. Yeah. Yeah, he's still very young. Yeah. You read that when shit, he started, man. he was very young. Oh man. <sighs> and I, I think like... also as an immigrant. Oh yeah. And him him coming to, to, to NZ and whatnot, he was very cognizant of what everyone else was thinking before he kind of jumped into that a uh, me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like before he hit that stage and did the dance. Yeah. Like he, he he had zero confidence, or he only relied on what other people told him. Hmm. Yeah, Izzy's thirty four. Oh wow! Yeah, born in eighty nine. Oh wow! He's only four years older than me. Hmm. Or oh, four years younger than me. Sorry. But yeah, I feel like a lot of that guy, like you know, reading the comments and shit like that, is all part of like you know, <laughs> that's that anime shit. That's the, that's that shit that Naruto used to do because all the villagers used to just badmouth that out to his face. Stammer behind the back. But I love yeah, that I think though. You're right. <laughs> With Izzy, like <laughs> you can tell he's the biggest fucking weave as well because this guy in an interview was like. I practice all the fucking, the hand signs for every jutsu in Naruto. And before I walk in that ring, I will do a sign and then walk in. <laughs> <laughs> That's the shit that we love, though. 
Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you reckon, Bata? I really enjoyed it. Maybe want to go fight again, to be honest. Oh. Maybe just want to, like, either go for, do that or just do big sprints like Creed and then scream at the end, which would be, like, two <laughs> steps from where I started. <laughs> just to the end of the road. <laughs> Screaming at the ice cream truck. Because <laughs> I, I was just upstairs, right? <laughs> I see the ice cream truck. There is a split second where I was just like, I could run out right there and catch that truck. <laughs> Let's say you coming down them stairs, right? Are you doing the full action shot and jumping the fucking banister instead of taking the right to take the the door? Oh hell no! No, no, no. I'm like watching my footwork there, dog. I was just not <laughs> taking a leap of faith. <laughs> this is the, the light on the feet approach. <laughs> my my unco knows would like the foot would catch on the banister, and I just like just be left sprawling. <laughs> mm. It's all right. It's in the privacy of your own home. I did that shit in public one time. As long okay. as it's not on camera, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I did that sliding down the banister first day of high school. <laughs> Spread eagled on the station. Peak hour, dog. Peak hour. You know how many O's just look? And they're like, <laughs> I did like the like just the shame and I was like had to get off and pull myself together. This guy, Dave was there and he was like, told you not to be doing that stupid shit. <laughs> just kept walking. I was like had to pull themselves together and like set their bones for themselves. <laughs> How doing that stupid like, shit though. Limping. And you know what? Day two did the same shit again. <laughs> I was, was like, out. Nah. <laughs> Something's got to change. <laughs> we were out for Blazer's Bucks, and I had to go take a piss real fucking bad. And so I successfully jumped. You know the chain link fences that they fucking have there to get to the dock where mm. the ferries are? I jumped it the first time. Perfect. I was pissed as well, by the way. <laughs> Took my piss, went to go jump over it again. This heart of the city, mind you. Everyone's looking at me on Darling Harbor there. I fucking jumped in front of Cargo Bar. I jumped and just tagged. I Ooh. commando rolled so fucking quick and ran away. <laughs> <laughs> what was the roll like, though? Was oh, the fuck. roll like fucking Terminator 2? Like, <laughs> that sort nah. of commando roll? Uh, it was straight up. I tripped grazed my knees, fucking planted myself, arms and legs out, and then I just rolled as if I was just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, it's funny after that though, after you fuck up big time in public, how you were like, just like laser focused to where you were walking and just not look at anyone. <laughs> it's <just my> <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. Shit. All you heard <laughs> that night was, oh! Yeah! <laughs> it was always gone. It's like a shadow in the end up to that <laughs> shit, man. Badly. <laughs> oh, that dumb shit. <laughs> Those got stories, though. Those make drunk stories to make people laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What did you always think of how controversial this O was? Like with the with some of his comments, because he gets worked up. This O does get worked up in the pre-fight with the repay. Yeah, <laughs> the repay with the comment, with the uh. grape comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. For me, it was part of our vernacular at one point. Yeah, it's crazy because like it's it's common over here to say that. Yeah. As, like, you got destroyed. Yeah. You got, yeah. You got great. And, um, yeah. And, uh, so for me, <laughs> at my first reaction was, what's the big fucking deal? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. But when we say it, we're not on the public stage. <laughs> That's right. That's the that difference. Should, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There is a fucking a steep learning curve with how to behave in the public eye. Yeah. Like the words that you use and you can't use the shit that you would say normally to your yeah. boys. Yeah. yeah. And 
I think that's that's the thing where, that he kind of struggles with is I say this shit off the cuff because I'm not thinking. I'm sort of in the moment. I'm I'm there. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's how do you become media trained and still keep that fucking edge and still be me? Mm. Yeah. It's so crazy. I forgot who said it, but someone was like, it's the difference between skipping rocks by yourself and skipping rocks with everyone else in the same pond. But yeah, fucking, I reckon it'll be hard, man. Because, huh. like, I've had to change my vernacular, because Counter-Strike, you just, you say the wildest <laughs> shit. Just Call of Duty lobbies, Counter-Strike, everything. Now, yeah. I'm just like, that guy got pumped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's done. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. I reckon like everyone should go see it. Oh, it's man. out now. It is a great documentary. Mm. There's and we, we get very few of these. We had fucking Smashing Machine, which is mm. also really, really great. A good fight documentary. I can't think of any other um documentaries where they, they kind of they capture the vulnerabilities of the fighters or the stars. Yeah. The Last Dance is also a good one. Maybe the Lakers one. Uh, um, the, what's his face, bro? The Connor one. The I didn't Connor watch that on Netflix. Notorious. How was that? How was what? that in comparison? It was, it, it's not as good as this because okay. I like Izzy more as a fighter. I don't know. That, mm. that probably plays a big part. But um, it, it was pretty good. It goes through everything. It starts with... It's, this is not the Notorious one. Oh, okay. This is the other one, the, yeah. the newer one that came out. Um, what's his face? Because it starts with him breaking his leg. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Or breaking, yeah, breaking his ankle or whatever. His leg or something. Yeah. Yeah, it starts with that. So, yeah. Is that worth checking out? Yeah, watch it. It's pretty okay. good. Nice. I think, um, like you were saying, just to like say about the vulnerabilities, it's good to get this like in, like in that public uh, spotlight as well. Hmm. Just to get away from that idea that like you know fighting or MMA or whatever is just for like you know just brutes really. <laughs> like you hmm. see the journey of these people. Like they're just humans at the end of the day. Yeah. And you see the pain that they go through as well. Because the way he breaks down fucking nearly made me break down the way he was going through it sometimes. Mm. Mm. When he's, like, understanding what he's feeling and he finally, like, it clicks for him and he just, like, starts crying. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Very free with his tears or so. Yeah. yeah. Which is like He doesn't... Yeah. He doesn't bottle it all up. He mm. does bottle some things up, though. Yeah. Do you notice that with immigrants it is not easy to write your fucking parents off like no. he had he had resentment for his parents beating him right but he also understood that's <laughs> that my yeah, parents that's my parents mm. and he still treated them yeah like he got rich they were rich yeah yeah so, I, mean, I respect that mm -hmm. but that's how immigrants are that's how we yeah. were. that's how we are yeah no fucking, like, emancipation for me. <laughs> you know I mean? no, no such thing as your money and my money, and it's that's family money. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's just how it yeah. works. That's Especially just how you're making work. that much money. Yeah. Yeah. His parents were very progressive with, like, his choice as well, because they were very, like, hesitant at the beginning, but then close yep. to the end, when he was speaking to them, they were even, like, giving him tips and stuff. That. I was like, wow, this is really cool. Mm. Like yeah, I don't really know if that was uh, scripted or not. <laughs> 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 the tips. <laughs> Made me think of that. Um, really? You're going to be a hand model? I get paid 100k a year. I would like to retract my comments. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I think that that's just more them actually taking an interest in, in what he's actually doing. Right? Yeah. It's just them trying to be a part of his world. Yeah, huh. be supportive, all that sort of stuff. Now, yeah, they've yeah. more than likely gone through their bloody their um therapy and everything as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. That's mad though. I like that mm. being part yeah. of your son's life for like the things he loves as well. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, and they were there like win and lose. That's it. Mm. You know what I mean? 
they didn't just rock up in in the ring when he just won. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like like they were there the whole time. Which for Izzy, like it's constantly win. You know what mm. I mean? Hell yeah! I think yeah. that's what keeps him grounded. Just just in the like the bouncing back. Yeah, is that he's got that support system built in with his family. Mm. Yeah. What a very nostalgic though when they, they had the family videos with the parties there I and know. how many people were stacked into such a small place. Oh god! Hey. It was like, man, oh. this brings back mad memories. <laughs> Mom, That's Papa's the best place. parties. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. The yeah, walls were bloody sweat. Uh, yeah, and like O's would be sitting on like the the armrest of the couch, and that mm. was a seat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good times. 30, 40 people in this six-person home. <laughs> it's funny. It's such a big house, but I only see you got enough money to get two X men. <laughs> uh, shit. All right. Let's move on to... Uh, unless you guys have anything else to add? No, nothing. Yeah. Go, Go watch the movie, movie though. Mm-hmm. Also, thanks to... Uh, thanks to Nixco. Setting up the uh, screener and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. All right. Let's move into uh, Saw X. All righty. So, Cosmo Kramer's violent, ill, and sadistic brother John Kramer has returned to play a game with the people who scanned him with an experimental surgery to rid him of his cancer. Now, he will exact his vengeance exactly how he sees fit, by pitting his poor victims against his mechanisms designed to prove how desperate one can be to cling to life. So, we have Tobin Bell reprising the role of John Kramer. We have Shawnee Smith as Amanda Young. We have Sonove Makodi Lund as Cecilia Peterson. Stephen Brand as Parker Sears. Hanada Vaca as Gabriella. Joshua Okamoto as Diego. Octavio Hinojoso as Mateo and Paulette Hernandez as Valentina. Mm. Nice. All right. Technical breakdown. So it runs for an hour and 58 minutes. Hour and eight. Yeah. Hour and 18 minutes if you want to get down like that. Um, it was shot at a ratio of 2.00 to 1. Remember how we said that the ratio, the it seemed a bit different yeah that's why it's a new aspect ratio which is different um they use sony sony cine alta venice um cameras with cook s4 lenses um so the the last few movies movies that used that was the french dispatch in 2021 um fortuna 2020 call me by your name in 2017 game of thrones used these cameras extensively throughout their 2011 run die hard 4 in twenty oh in, in 07, Munich in 05, um, Need for Speed 2014, Place Beyond the Pines 2012, Take Shelter, and We Own the Night. All use that exact same setup. Um, oh, oh, yeah, which is cool. Um, it looks like they shot on film. There was a negative format done by AXSR7. Um, the cinematographic process. Mm. Either way, it's um it's an it's a four K master, which is awesome for us. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um which means four mm. K DI is gonna look beautiful on, on Blu ray. Um and it looks like um they they printed the they printed to film, so yeah. Nice. <clears throat> awesome. All right, let's get into it. What the audience wants to know. Is this movie worth the price of admission? All right. So if you would have asked me yesterday, yesterday at around, I don't know, 3.30, you know, I'm still banging away at work. Pause. (laughs) Banging away on dollar. (laughs) Like is is the movie? Do you want to go watch this movie? Is it? Is it? Do you, do you think it's worth it? I would have said like in like and it, just no. I don't want to no. see. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to see a Saw movie. I've only seen the first Saw. Like I don't want to see this movie. And then we get into the cinema, and I'm all right. They gave us a free drink. Thank you. 
um, what's his face, movie starts, and I really enjoy it. Wow. It was the biggest turnaround. I was like, what is going on? Is every <laughs> store movie <Time>. like this? <laughs> Adley. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was so surprised. I did not want to go yesterday. Yesterday? Same. Yeah. Same. I could have I just was... as easily stayed at home. Mm. That's huge. I watched paint dry. <laughs> I, I was oh, expecting a dog. <laughs> Man, so was I. Because mm. I have, I've watched the first two saws and then I've watched Spiral, mm. right? And I, even off the strength of the first saw, like, I didn't really enjoy all the movies. Only mm. because when it comes to torture and how Saw created like this torture porn kind of vibe and gore yeah. that everyone was, was kind of was kind of into for like yeah. eight summers <laughs> you oh. know what I mean it was too much for me I didn't get the yeah. point of it and I didn't go in for it right this movie changed my mind not didn't change my mind on on the gore and whatnot but yeah I was surprised as hell because mm. I was into it I enjoyed it yeah it felt great at 118 minutes. <laughs> it actually, especially for a horror film, it's wild. Yeah. One of the longer horror films. It was. And it, it, didn't, it didn't, um, didn't wear out its welcome. Mm, no. No, not there at all. There's just enough in there to keep it going. Mm. It's not a great movie. It's not going to win any awards or whatnot. Yeah. But if you... Like, there are worse ways to plonk down 35 bucks. Yeah. For a, for a movie ticket. Well, I, I don't mean. Mm. Yeah. Entertaining enough. It's, it's, like, got enough character development. It's fun enough. There's a story. There's, yeah. <laughs> there's, yeah, there was actually a story. And there's enough in here for the newcomer, which... That's how I kind of viewed it. Basically I'm new to this. I'm basically new to this franchise as well. Mm. And obviously the 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 person that's been to every Saw movie and mm. checked them out for years and years, as um, you know, evidenced by one of the, the members of the, the screening that was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and also like told us to, to wait for the mid credit sequence. <laughs> yeah, like an idiot. He let, the, he let his fuck, fuck yeah go too early. Like, yes. like not an idiot. If he had too waited soon, until, Yeah, until <laughs> after the, the, the mid credits, that's when someone else should have screamed out fuck yeah and turned around and said dumb cunt. Like, that, <laughs> that, that's what should have happened. But then we have brawls. We <laughs> have <laughs> oh, man. They came ready. Ready for this movie. But yeah, man. Go see it. It's worth seeing, I think. If especially if you don't like Saw. Mm. That that was a surprising thing for me. I'm not a Saw person and no. I enjoyed this one. I it was a surprise. I was like, mm. wow, okay. I could maybe watch the first one and then watch this one. Like, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have two Saw films in my library. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's the thing. Would you buy this one? I would. I enjoyed it I, that much. Weirdly, I would watch it again as well. Mm. Like, it wouldn't be like a, every year I'm watching this, mm. but like, I would watch it again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was weird because for me, this is just like this one played out like if Rambo was a bad guy. It's mm. almost first blood when you think about it, this movie. Yeah. They started the ship. Yeah. And he's just pushing back. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was just passing through, you know what I mean? Minding my own fucking business, yeah. trying to get my life on back on track. And you fucked with me. Yeah. You, you... contacted me. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, man. Fine. Tag came out of the cage. 
I'm having too much fun. <laughs> All right. I just want to get into some spoilers. Mm. All right. You have precisely 30 seconds to make the decision whether you want to stay on board because we're going to get into some spoilers mm. or you want to like leave. The choice is yours. We are getting into it. It, uh, if you, if you are one of the many who are staying, please don your tuxedo with mask and ride your tricycle right in. Mm. <laughs> Come play this game, pause. <laughs> All right, Get just into water. He's a fat old, like just oh. a fat tricycle. <laughs> <laughs> that children's tricycle is wild, so. <laughs> see Homer when he's in the crusty yeah. outfit and pants. <laughs> he's gonna do the loop the loop. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Look at hell. Alright. You had your chance. Let's get into what worked. Hmm. Wanna kick us off there, Bado? Alright, so for me, for what worked was was actually the uh the story. <laughs> there was actually story around it. It wasn't just like, you know, hey, let's go do some gorehound shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Like there was an yep. actual story which which kept me engaged mm. as well the whole time. Yeah. That's what worked for me. Mm. Yeah. It's a story we've sort of seen before. Um, mm. but just executed with a horror lens is is different now. You know what I mean? Mm. He may, it does make him more of an anti hero now. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um I thought he was literally just doing this for fun. I yep. do this for fun. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's weird. Yeah, I, I thought so as well. Like, that's... That was the main thing that sort of keeps you going mm. in the movie, is that little change of yeah. them actually humanizing John Kramer. Yeah. Because the first 40 minutes plays out... doesn't play out, but it reminded me of the first 30 minutes of Riddick, where it's just Riddick sort of mm. setting that vibe of, like, he's stranded on that planet. Yeah. And that's what this movie does, where it sort of shows his journey of, I found out that I've actually got, like, terminal cancer, and there's nothing I can do, but here's a shot in the dark, because these guys, like, I was referred, and these guys, like, you know, might have a cure for me. And setting that up meant that, you know, there's a reason, point blank reason, why Kramer is doing what he's doing. Mm. Um, I also thought the pacing was on point. Mm. There was something going on every, like, you know, five, ten minutes. A little yeah. little something to add to the character, the plot, whatever. Because um, for a horror movie that's like two hours long, they use that first 40 to sort of establish the character of John Kramer again. But then it's like, it's 80 minutes of Saw. Yeah. It gets back into its, its horror roots. And I, yeah. like that really, really worked. To, yeah. That switch up, it's like when from dusk till dawn. Yes. Changes over. Yeah. And then like, it goes from a fucking crime movie to a horror movie. A horror movie, yeah. Like it's, it's um, damn it, what was I going to say? Like you can feel it, you can feel the switch up, yeah. When it goes full horror, yeah. Like it's palpable. And I like that. Yeah. I really, really like that. Um, the music as well. Charlie Clouser re like reprises that composer role, mm. and he does really, really well. Uh, he's got like new themes and, and whatnot, especially with the new locale, it being set in Mexico, mm. which was crazy. Cause you get to see a bit of that in the start and the mm. beautiful vistas and the townships and the city and whatnot. Mexico is amazing. man. Oh man. It looks. You can have that, that shit just out there. Stuff that's 2000, 3000 years old, just out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just there. Yeah. Build our city you, around it. It's almost like a little Rome. You know what I mean? Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. But you know, I like that in a lot of movies like Sicario, mm. Man on Fire, 
you kind of you get to see the underworld of Mexico a lot more in the city. Yeah. Whereas in this, they kind of take you to you go outskirts. They, they show you a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Suburbs. Yeah. Places where tourists would go, but still, very nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Mm. Um, and then the last thing that worked was for me the traps and the gore. So the mm. gore was actually very sparingly done. Yeah. And very in line with like a normal horror movie, not like like over the top gore mm. that I found in in other Saw movies, where it felt very it felt very mean, and the gore was the point. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this feels more more personal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because this is, the, like, he's sort of getting his revenge here. Yeah. Sort of, but not really. Um, the, yeah, the traps were on point, very imaginative, but you've probably seen some variation of it in other Saw movies. Mm. And, like, the creativity doesn't stop here. Still really, really good. Mm. Um, there was one point where the trap, or the torture that was kind of happening, mm. it go, like it got to me, and that was like the the chick sawing off her leg with that. Is it a? It's not a band saw, is it? No, it's the it's like a garrote wire type saw. Yeah, designed to make really sharp cuts on a bone. Yeah, old mm. school. Yeah, mm. and she has to slice from the. Yeah, that's how it was in the cinema. I was just like watching like this. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah she has to slice from the bottom of her leg all the way through and then um drain marrow into mm. yeah god damn yeah it was fucking disgusting <laughs> yeah What's but that was like... the only one that really got me mm. yeah it, it's funny this because i don't think i saw i, I didn't see any cg you know what I mean? They look yeah. like all practical effects that they were doing in the movies. Yeah, yeah, most of them did. The only one that I kind of picked up on was the uh, the fingers getting bent, getting broken back. Yes, yes. That was the only fingers. one that, like, and that was probably like CG assist. Mm. They could have like pinned the O's fingers back one by one. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. What didn't work? Want to go first? How strong is that chick? Mm. She <laughs> knocks out that what's-his-face, that O, through the the window, mind you, which is still impossible. <laughs> what's-his-face. And then that chick that was in the car, that's going to get, like, you know, graped. Um, mm. she's like, what's his face? She fights off that giant, but then gets captured by her. Hmm. I think that made no sense. Um, what else was there? There's a bunch of that happening in the movie, to be honest. There was a one, though. <laughs> like, that, that girl weighs a buck ten, maybe. She's not carrying that girl out of the, out of the, how did she get out of the toilet? How did she get out of these places without being seen? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was like, my friend is drunk. Excuse me, but she's still, <laughs> yeah. she's still carrying the pig Yeah. She's still carrying the pig head costume. <laughs> oh, um, what else? Can't really think of anything else, really. Mm. I think the, uh, they, they could have shown a bit more with her and John as yep. well. Just show their relationship. I don't know. You probably yeah. see them in the other movies. I just don't. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, yeah. She, was, she was in the first one. Yes. Yes, she was. Yeah. That's the, the first chick that says, he saved my life. Hmm. Um, and I think she does show up down the track. Yeah. But I've never watched the, the other ones as well. Nah. Uh, but yeah. 100% agree. Because also that other chick, Cecilia, she beat down Parker. And Parker that was too, I was going to say, actually. Yeah. 
Parker was straight beta, though. Straight up. You reckon? Beta male. Big time. <laughs> that was getting strapped. <laughs> straight Peg up. like Parker. <laughs> yeah. Peggy Sue. Mm. Um, yeah, I did not think that Parker would have lost that fight. No, no way. You could have sat on that chick while yeah. sticking his head through the vent. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, yeah, for me, so John Kramer hops on board. I know it's a miracle cure and everything, but he just mm. hops on board to this cancer treatment. He doesn't look up one other Yelp review or something. Mm. I know, <laughs> I know we look like we're in early 2000s territory, yeah. but there would have been something online. Mm. There would have been a reason why the original O that was doing this treatment <laughs> backed down and then a news article or why the FDC was, was shutting these O's down. So now we, we need to remember yeah. that this is, this is maybe early 2000s. He looked like he was using Windows 98. I got to tell you. Like as soon as I saw that Windows, <laughs> I, knew, I knew straight away. Like, no, nah, that's Windows 98. Using um, AOL. <laughs> you saw how slow web pages loaded. You didn't actually have a smartphone. Nobody had a smartphone. No. Um, she was cruising around with some sort of Blackberry. Yeah, that was I don't one, know. one of those giant Nokias that were giant for no reason. Um, yeah. there, there wouldn't be message boards and that sort of stuff for this stuff on the normal internet. You know what I mean? You'd have to go mm. maybe dark web or something like that or like some sort of out of the way message board. And I, I think that's why they told them, like, you need to use this, use this, um, this website. Yeah. This is back in the day when people thought the internet was true. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. But you know how they were like, like they would still post articles and shit like that. Mm. Yeah. That's what I was like. Was there nothing else? But I guess is Google up then? Is Google available then? Early 2000s, Google is there, but it's very old. Remember, everyone's using Yahoo back then. Mm. And Yahoo thinks that they're, they're on top of the fucking mountain. And they're never going to get toppled. And then this little company called Google came along and just fucking starched them. Let's not forget Ask Jeeves. Exactly. <laughs> fucking Ask Jeeves as Another well. One that's gone. Like, Bing is, is around. Bing's supposed to be all right now because they've built in AI into it. But yeah, it's scary. It's not AI. Google. <laughs> it's not a. It's not a, a a verb. Yeah, you can't 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 Bing it. Just Bing it mm. doesn't sound right. That nah, doesn't. I'm fucking Google Sounds it. Offensive. <laughs> yeah. Just Bing it, you fucking what, idiot. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, my other thing was why was Kramer like at the start? John Kramer is like I. Oh, I have only weeks left. Yeah. And the O is like, like he's decrepit. He's just yeah. worn down. He's wasted. The mm. O just doesn't have any fucking energy. No cunt about him. No get up and go. But when the, like the, the idea of I'm going to torture these O's to death comes into play, the O is like back to energy. <laughs> I'll tell you why. They call it fucking Grandpa Joe Energy, dog. That's right. As soon as he saw the golden ticket, that motherfucker was up. <laughs> that I was pitching after that. <laughs> yeah. I'm t I would have fucked with Grandpa Joe so badly. 100%. I just would have said, fuck you. You're up. You can go to work. I'm taking my father. That man, that Charlie had a father in the house. Mm. But he still took his grandfather. Yeah. That's not happening. Grandpa Joe, disgusting. Grandpa Joe played the guilt card, that's why. Oh, I worked with Mr. Wonka. I know exactly who he is. Fuck out of here, old man. You go like that in a bunch of men. Took sick ass I was just about to say. <laughs> you know what they should have done? You know what Charlie should have hit him with? Should have said, yeah, all right, you can come. Got him all excited and ready for the day. You know what I mean? That I was at the gate and then said, dad, let's go. And then watch Grandpa Joe, like, from the back, from the shoulder. Yeah. Just left him there. Fucking 
saving. Just watch that. Those legs just... <laughs> Pull home. I oh, know. Grandpa Joe yearned for that bit after that moment. Eating that boiled cabbage? Okay, when they could have been eating meat? Grandpa Joe was a fucking sellout. 100%. Bad. Bet you, I bet you all them motherfuckers in that bed could get up. That was playing the long con. Fucking no. hell. Should have them eaten them. Hundred <laughs> percent. Fucking I would have uh flipped the Mozart directly into the coffin like they were pizzas in the pizza oven, just laying in that bed, just fucking... <laughs> well, For me for me, the Mos was content. They were content to stay in the bed. You weren't there with you weren't you know out there shooting shooting with me in the gym. I'm sorry, I'm not taking you with me to that fucking chocolate factory. That's it. It's me and R. Kelly and that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I'm stepping in the name of love. God. <laughs> you know all the you know the Oompa Loompas would join in as well. Everyone would do the bot right then. And then. <laughs> Lazy. Yeah. Linger, man. <laughs> Badly. I know it smells crazy in that fucking house. That was eating cabbage all day, son. You yeah. know what it smells like in there. Farting oh, up man. a fucking storm. They're just farting in each other's faces. Fucking bad. <laughs> At what point does it become a health hazard? Bad. Like, it would just be pure fucking, like, butane and sulfur in that bitch. Like, you Badly. Could, no wonder none of them smoked. If they sparked yeah. up in that house, fuck, it would just yeah. blow up all the London. <laughs> They couldn't afford this fucking smokes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was capping toothpaste, dog. Toothpaste. You know that I was out of a job in ten years with the Industrial Revolution? No, mm hundred -hmm. percent. Even less. Five years and they had a toothpaste capping machine. Yeah, but that's the thing, you could see that coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, this dumb motherfucker should have like moved on to something else. Yeah. I was making cars then. You could have gone to go work in a fucking factory joke. Don't bullshit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, that was it for for me. What what didn't work? Hmm. I can't think of anything else. And I know, like you know, there's probably plenty of tropes, but all of which just work with the tone of this movie. Yeah, mm. I, I didn't expect them to like take this full serious and go into the complexities of of uh like a hero complex that hmm. that kramer has now sort of found because he's he's dying of cancer yeah yeah just, to me that was like i expected shit so anything above shit for me was That's beautiful a great movie. and i think like we got several inches above the old uh <laughs> the old hmm. shit level and yeah yeah, it's, it's definitely a big old surprise. It was. I'll tell you that much. It was. <laughs> I was curious about this shit because this guy, this isn't his first like rodeo with Saw as well. This guy has been an editor with them since Saw three D, and he directed yeah. Saw three D fucking six in this. But then the ratings for the other two that he did was just ass. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what was so different with this one? Like even the Spirig Brothers one that they did was. Um, worse <laughs> received worse yeah jigsaw was apparently fucking horrible man for me it's that first 40 minutes that changes it and it's also the moment in the movie that i realized that i liked the the movie mm. is that after five minutes it didn't go into i'm gonna kill everyone here and i want to play a game and that o came fucking wheeling out the fucking yeah. bike. Yeah. They stuck with, with this character through this journey so that it felt justified what yeah. he did. There's yeah. even an O. There's even an O in there, right? And this is where the, the post is from, you know, with the, the sockets? Yeah. And those eyes, paws? So I thought it was going to be acid or something like that, but he sucks the eyes out. Anyways... <laughs> That's a vision that he has. Because as I was going through this, this guy's, um, this orderly is going through this guy's uh, personal effects. That's crippled. And he's sleeping. Anyways, he's going through his personal effects. 
and then Kramer spots him and he's like like in basically Bandit you see the in the trap. Yeah. <laughs> but then it snaps back to reality. Um and you realize that the guys put the shit back and then he leaves and then Kramer's like, wise choice. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> like that's like basically him trying to balance things out. Mm. Yeah. When you think about it, Jed, uh, John Kramer is just Rorschach in another universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really but is. Like this. Where it's no one else can do it. No, the Toby authority... Bell was just. Yeah. I saw him because I watched Goodfellas the other day. Like, he's in Goodfellas. Yeah. Like, he's, yeah. he's everywhere. And it's weird because then he, you see him again and he's in Sopranos. Yeah. And this time I actually saw Pussy. Pause. Big <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> he's in Goodfellas as well. Like, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Is everyone's in there. Every single person from Goodfellas is in the Sopranos. Fucking oath. The way it should be. That's the pedigree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what about you? What was the moment for you where you were like, fuck, I am enjoying this movie. This is a fucking, this is a gun movie. You know what it was? It was the, that first, that first contraption with the O with the eyes. When I didn't see that O's like brains and whatnot come out and all that other shit, like O's was like, yeah. all right. It's not as violent as I think it's going to be. Yeah, it was like okay, this is realistic gore that they're going for now. Mm. It's not over the top. Let's, yeah, yeah. That's when I was like, oh, okay, maybe I can stop at this. Yeah. Maybe yeah, watching him go through the motions with those scammers and I don't know. Mm. Everyone's got that currently has that you know fantasy about catching those scammers that that message you and call you and. What not, mm. and just doing what John does to that whole uh, teleco tele center, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully they do that in the next one. It's nice. Yeah. Hopefully he does it to these O's that sit in the cinema and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Bring their fucking phones out. <laughs> I'd love to have a Tobin Bell in the cinema. <laughs> it's not even. Not even John Kramer, it's just Tobin Bell. Yeah. <laughs> this is how he is in real life as well. Yeah. <laughs> Jigsaw at home. <laughs> Jigsaw in the studio. Jigsaw at home as well. Guy puts the phone away. Wise choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hmm. Uh, go check out uh, Saw X. In cinemas now. Mm. I think two hours, but I think worthy of your time. Yeah, it's nice. Especially, it's value for money, man. Fucking oath. It's I gonna remember be hot that you soon in Sydney, 35 degrees. You want to kill two hours in a nice air conditioned space mm. while getting entertained? Go watch Saw. Little two yeah. hour hit there. Yeah. Go to George Street, go get some Hungry Jacks after, and you're set. Mate. This the is not a Hungry Jacks. <laughs> Pay us, you fucking <laughs> louts. <laughs> Jeez. You know, it's wild when you're calling her louts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. That is a wrap mm. on the reviews for tonight. We are back on Sunday talking our usual after show special mm. shit. Second episode uh, of Continental. Oof. Yep. I forgot Gnarly about that. of Gnarly Res Dogs. Uh, yes. Ever. I was a little bit scared to watch that episode. Keep the Kleenex close. Mm. For the sad <sighs> tissues. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely for the sad tissues. <laughs> My Devery Jacob searches will wait. <laughs> Please. Yeah. But yeah, love yourself. Oh, yeah. Follow us on all social media Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, threads. Mm. Give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. Helps us get into many more spaces, get that content, bring it back to you. Mm. It should the all people. be in the description up here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or highlighted. I always click the highlight. 
subscribe mm. box you know uh, but yeah love yourself love movies vape more smoke less and wash your ass